The Mecca Beauty Jungle. Beauty Jungle. Hey beauty junkies, it's Brittany Lee Saunders here and I have always wanted to say that. I am so excited to be here on the Mecca Beauty Junkie YouTube channel. Welcome to my little video here. Today I'm going to be creating this look and it is using all of the new products from the Too Faced Peaches and Cream Collection. And I'm also doing a giveaway in this video so make sure you stick around to the end to find out how to win this entire collection. It's valued at over $1,700. This collection is delicious there's so many amazing colors they smell amazing I'm just gonna stop rambling and get on to showing you guys how I did this look alrighty so starting out I have already filled in my brows I used the Too Faced chocolate brownie cocoa powder brow pencil starting out with primer I have the primed and peachy cooling matte Skin Perfecting Primer. Now I'm just gonna go right ahead and say before I get into doing my makeup that this entire collection smells amazing. Too Faced are always on point when it comes to giving their products scents. When I opened the box, everything was just like woof, a big, I don't know, a big woofed, waft of peachy goodness. So I'm really excited about that. It has come out on my finger and it's almost a peachy color, which is pretty cute. So I'm going to go right ahead. Oh my God. You guys are going to die over how nice this primer smells. I popped that on my lids as well. For those of you girls who enjoy a matte primer, I can already feel how matte this is making my skin feel. For foundation, I have three shades of their foundation here and this foundation is called Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation. It's oil free, it has 14 hour wear, oil controlling and photo friendly which is good so I'm guessing there will be no flashback. The three shades that I have are Sand, Warm Beige and Golden Beige. I got three different shades because I'm always either really tan or super pale. Um, I'm more on the pale side today so I've decided that I'm going to go with the shade Golden Beige and I guess because this is a pump I can just do this. I'll start out with a small-ish amount and then I'll build it up. It smells so good. Okay, I think I'm definitely going to add a little bit more just from a first impression. I think it definitely has a light to medium coverage. I think this color that I went with is the perfect matte for me and I can't even begin to explain to you guys how matte that is, but in a good way. I have really dry skin and this it feels like not overly drying whatsoever, like it's gone on flawlessly, but it feels like I've already set my face with powder. Anyway, I'm going to pop on a little bit of concealer and go in with some Born This Way. Down at the center of my nose, between my brows, chin. Usually this is the part where I would go in with a setting powder, but I'm not going to in this video just because I have dry skin and this foundation is already so matte, but they do have this beautiful setting powder. It is the Peach Perfect Mattifying Loose Setting Powder. I would love to use this to set my face and bake under my eyes. And when I use the Too Faced Born This Way foundation, I will definitely be using this because their Born This Way foundation is like a really glowy, dewy kind of foundation. So for bronzer, I have two bronzing products here. One is a cream product and the other is a powder. So I'm going to start out with the cream. So this is the Too Faced Bronzed Peach Melting Powder Bronzer. This packaging is so cute. It is in the shape of a little brown peach. Smells amazing. So I'm just going to take some of this product on an angled brush and start sculpting my face. And I can smell it as I'm putting it on my face. I don't think it's overly that intense of a color, which is good. A color that you can build up. Oh, I'm liking how that's looking there. I'll also take that down the sides of my nose for a little bit of a nose contour and also just along my jawline for some definition. 
And then I'm going to take the Sweetie Pie Radiant Matte Bronzer. And this is what the product looks like here. So it's a bronzer with a bit of a blush and highlight in there. So I'm just going to take that on a brush and sweep that across my cheeks just for a little more bronzy goodness. For a little bit of blush, I have two of their blush shades here. These are so cute. They are mini peaches. And then on the peach, it's got the corresponding color. So I have Peach Dream and Pinch My Peach. I think I might use Pinch My Peach, which is more of a peachy pink. It is a little compact and it's cream. I might actually just take that on my fingers, dab it on my cheeks. If you guys follow me on my social media and you have watched my makeup videos, you will know that over the years, I haven't been the biggest blush person, but lately I've been trying to get into it a little bit more. I kind of have been digging blush. <laughs> like I want to taste this, but I know I shouldn't, <laughs> but that's how good it smells. And then moving on to highlight, I have the Peach Frost. This is the Melting Powder Highlighter. So is this meant to be like, is it a powder? To me, these seem cream, but perhaps it's like a, a powdery cream product. Anyway, this is what the highlight looks like. And this one is in the shade Happy Face. So I am going to take that on my fingers. When I use cream products, not that I use them that often, but when I do use them, I think it's best to use them on your fingers just because of how nicely your fingers warm up the product. So I'm just going to take that and place it on my cheekbones and basically all over my entire face because it's highlight. I even like putting highlight on the apples of my cheeks. That is a really nice glow. I like it a lot. Tip of my nose. We'll go down the center as well. Cupid's bow. Alrighty, so now I'm moving on to eyes. Thank goodness, because I look like a crazy person without anything on my eyes. For this collection, Too Faced have come out with two palettes, which I think is really cool. They could have just gotten away with doing one, but the fact that they've come out with two makes me really excited because they're both really different, even though they're both peach themed. So the first one is the White Peach Palette. It has a few more cool tones compared to the other one. So many pretty shades. And then the second palette is the Just Peachy Mattes Palette. And this palette has my name written all over it. I absolutely love this. So it is more of your warm toned mattes um, and your really peachy shades. So I'm probably going to use a combination of both of these today. I'm going to go in with the Just Peachy Mattes palette with this shade here, which is Peach Tea. I'm just going to pop that on my lid as a bit of a all over transition shade. Next, I'm going to take in the same area, the shade Fresh Picked, which is this shade here. And I'm just going to do the exact same with that and kind of just build up some warmth on my lid. Eyeshadow is one of those steps in makeup that I could really spend 15 minutes doing. <laughs> I'm then going to take the shade Peach Cobbler, this shade here, and once again, just work that into my lid to add more depth. And I'll concentrate more on the outer side with this shade and just try and darken up that outer area. These shadows. And then what I might do is take Peach Punch, which is the really peachy shade from the palette and work that in as well. Maybe more around the middle part of my lid, like here. I'm really just winging it. We're just rolling with it. <laughs> I just want to keep going through every color in this palette. I'm like, yep, I'll go on to the next one, then the next one. I could honestly use all of these. What I'm going to do now before I continue to make my eyes darker is I'm going to go in with Glistening Peach from the White Peach Palette, a shimmery pink shade. I'm just going to pack that on to the base of my lid. And then going back to the other palette, I'm going to take Peach Tart, a chocolate brown matte, and I'm going to really darken up the outer edge. First, I'll just roughly apply it with a small brush and then I'll go in and I'll blend it in. Ta-da, just leave it like that, no. Now going back in with Peach Cobbler, which was that warm 
peachy brown. I'm just going to take that underneath my eye. I think I'm going to keep it like that. I like the oranginess underneath. So for underneath my brow bone, I'm going to use the shade Peaches and Cream, which is a matte cream shade. I think that might actually be a little too dark for underneath my brows. <laughs> Let's just actually use Peach Butter. That's better. That's butter. And then, just when you thought it was all over, I'm going to take Peach Ice from this palette. And Peach Ice is this shade down the bottom here. And I'm just going to pop that right in the inner corner. This looks like a really glittery shade. Yep, it is. Voila, that is everything that I'm doing on my eyes. I could continue and go all day, but I would end up with eyes that look like an actual peach. Not in a good way. Moving on to eyeliner. For eyeliner today, there is no eyeliner in this collection because let's be honest, Too Faced already has every single liquid liner color that there is with their sketch markers. So I'm just going to be taking their black one and creating a bit of a wing on my eye. little bit wobbly but that's all right I always say it doesn't matter if my eyeliner is uneven because so is my life in a way I will jump off the camera and do the other one to be exactly the same and then I'll be back you know it's going to be a good day when you get your eyeliner even without messing it up now for mascara I'm just going to take some better than sex mascara and pop that on my lashes I've got pretty short natural lashes as you can see. I mean, you probably can't see because they're that small, but I like to put on mascara kind of just as a base for my fake lashes to sit on. And for lashes today, I'm going to be using some MAC lashes, which are available at Mecca. And these are in the style A17. So I'm just going to pop them on to enhance my eyes. Now for lips, sticking with the Too Faced theme, I'm going to use two of their nude lipsticks here. This one is in the shade Skinny Dippin'. This is from their Natural Nudes collection. I love these because they are like a creamy kind of matte lip. And then I'm going to pop over the top of that the shade Send Nudes. Then to finish off this look and set my face, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Peach Mist Mattifying Setting Spray. Shake me baby, it says on the container. This is huge. This is 120 mils. Oh, look how cute that is. It's even got a peach little spray. What do you even call these? I don't know. What is, what is that bit called? Is that a word that I should know straight off the top of my head? Anyway, oh, that smells so good. I'm just going to spray that all over my face to set it. Not that I think this makeup is going anywhere just because of how beautiful this foundation set into my skin. But let's just, let's do it anyway because it feels nice. Oh, I would want this just because of how good it smells. Like this whole collection, I would want it just simply for how nice it smells it's amazing anyway guys that is the end of my tutorial and this is the look that i have created with the peaches and cream collection i hope you've enjoyed watching if you guys would like to win the entire peaches and cream collection valued at over 1700 dollars all you have to do to enter is be subscribed to the mecca beauty junkie youtube channel and leave a comment down below with your instagram handle and mecca will be contacting one of you and you will be the lucky winner. So good luck. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Bye guys.